one day, in retrospect, the years of struggle will strike you as the most beautiful. Out of your vulnerabilities will come your strength. Analogies, it is true, decide nothing, but they can make one feel more at home. Unexpressed emotions will never die. They are buried alive and will come forth later in uglier ways. Before you diagnose yourself with depression or low self-esteem, first make sure that you are not, in fact, just surrounded by unpleasant people. Just as no one can be forced into belief, so no one can be forced into unbelief. Flowers are restful to look at. They have neither emotions nor conflicts. The only person with whom you have to compare yourself is you in the past. A man should not strive to eliminate his complexes, but to get into accord with them. They are legitimately what directs his conduct in the world. Being entirely honest with oneself is a good exercise. There is a powerful force within us, an eliminated part of the mind separate from the conscious mind that is constantly at work molding our thought, feelings, and actions. From error to error, one discovers the entire truth. When making a decision of minor importance, I have always found it advantageous to consider all the pros and cons. Dreams are often most profound when they seem the most crazy. Most people do not really want freedom because freedom involves responsibility and most people are frightened of responsibility. When one does not have what one wants, one must want what one has. I suppose that romantic love was invented as a brilliant means of seduction. If you don't like a person, it's because they remind you of something you don't like about yourself. We choose not randomly each other. We meet only those who already exist in our subconscious. The liberty of the individual is no gift of civilization. It was greatest before there was any civilization. Human life should not be considered as the proper material for wild experiments. I cannot think of any need in childhood as strong as the need for a father's protection. Psychoanalysis is in essence a cure through love. Words and magic were in the beginning one and the same thing, and even today words retain much of their magical power. We are never so defenseless against suffering as when we love. <laughs>